In this video, we're going to show how we shot this, how we shot this, So this was a short 16 millimeter video we did for this brand called Hammies. They're a clothing brand based in Santa Barbara and a lot of their stuff is kind of based around a 70s-esque look. So the idea for the shoot was to do a boat-esque type of shoot. We ended up hiring two models that we work with pretty often and we did this whole concept about enjoying the day on the beach but in kind of like a uh, nautical kind of like eccentric type of way my goal for this project was to kind of give a french twist to uh the 70s-esque type of video shot on our 16 mil camera so that was kind of like my goal through this project so we ended up shooting for a couple hours off the peninsula this area that i live pretty close to so it made for a really cool scene and luckily we ended up having some pretty awesome light throughout the shoot. For this shoot, we ended up shooting on my Bolex ELH16. I've talked about it before on this channel and it's my go-to 16 millimeter camera. The lens that we shot on was this really awesome 12, I think it's like a 12.5 millimeter to 100 millimeter Kearns lens. If you've ever shot on a Bolex before in the past, this is a pretty standard lens for Bolex in particular. It's really obviously a very good dynamic range um, with the amount of millimeters that you have. And then also the f-stop is pretty good as well. So you can shoot as low as like f2, which I feel like for you know a 60 millimeter camera, that's pretty good. And then kind of why I love this camera so much is that it's uh, auto wind, which is really nice in comparison to a lot of the other 16 millimeter cameras, which were spring wound. So we love that about this camera. Along with super easy to use, the viewfinder is like moderately big, which is nice. And I mean, overall, the, all the EL cameras for 16 millimeter are pretty moderately easy to use in the world of 16 millimeter, which is nice. And then finally, kind of why I decided to shoot on 16 millimeter for this project in particular. We do some projects on 8 millimeter, and we've done a project on 35 millimeter before, or I've been a part of one that was on 35 millimeter. And I always feel like 16 millimeter is kind of the most happy medium, where you're still going to get that real film-esque look in comparison to a lot of films you might see on 35 millimeter, where I mean, in today's age, you might not be able to tell the difference between a really well shot 35 millimeter film and then a, you know, it's shot on a digital cinema camera. The 35 millimeter cameras now are just like that good. And then on the other spectrum, eight millimeter, at least in my opinion, it's just like, it's like a cool style, but I don't know. It's, it can be really, really grainy and really film-esque obviously because the you know the millimeter size is so small so your quality is not going to be all there as well so i find that 16 millimeter is that perfect in between where you're still getting moderately good quality and then you know it still has that film-esque look that a lot of brands and companies are going for so it's a good little you know marketing tool if you're trying to make some videos for your brand so now i wanted to go over some of the stuff that was shot in the field on the boat we had a couple complications and i wanted to show this one in particular of how we got this shot if you can see obviously you can see the boat that we were shooting on in this shot but people are probably wondering how i got this shot and the answer is we brought a 10 foot long surfboard with us on the boat and i ended up sitting on the surfboard like like 20 or 30 yards away from the boat so i get this wide angle shot of the boat going by along with that i mean i don't recommend it but luckily it worked out shooting film on a boat or just shooting in general with this camera on a boat it's kind of sketch in some aspects just because if anything happens to the camera you're kind of screwed and I mean, if you shot on film, either on the photo side or the video side, you know, you don't want to mess anything up because, you know, your shots are so limited and film is so expensive now. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions about 16 millimeter or 
photography as well in general. I mainly do photo on top of video. So if you have any questions, just, you know, hit me up on social or leave a comment below. And, you know, as always, if you could leave a like and subscribe, it really helps my algorithm and, you know, me grow as a YouTuber. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.